Western Kentucky will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Vanderbilt's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the coach. But it does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other ways. the PAT. A quick two-play, 75-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. From their own 35-yard line. First down. Great pressure on the quarterback with that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Man, left, man, left. That makes it second and 10. Now he's scrambling. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down to the 38-yard line. He started to run and saw that the field ahead of him was wide open. That's a huge play. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Scramble around. Made around the 27-yard line. yard line. First down. There's a strike complete. He's tackled at the two. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Here we go. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. The short yardage defense here. He's on the run, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 75-yard drive. 
And it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown play. We're even at seven in this one. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heel. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. And he keeps it on the option play and picks up six. play by the running back and that's enough for the first he knew where he had to go to get the first down and he got there nice run from their own 39 yard line first down on the throw incomplete pass that could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one wow that was close And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Four down, four down. Mike, four. Here we go. He wants it all going long. The defender had it and then dropped it. Number 87, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. They're about four yards away here on second down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Stop. Point 80. Watch 80. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Scrambled. And he's tackled at the 40 yard line. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Down. Got it, and brought 
down immediately. We played one. We get a tie game at 7-7. Seven, seven. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. tries to buy some time and down he goes at the 42 yard line what is going on with his defense i mean don't get me wrong the offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field they've got to try to change things up with their scheme be more aggressive attack do some things to change it up take some risks Gets out to around the 25. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. It's the ninth play of the drive. He's going to try and scramble. Good open field tackle. From the 21 yard line. Second down. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. This is the 11th play of this drive. And he makes it out to about the 8 yard line. It's second and goal. Ball on the eight yard line. Fires quickly to the tight end. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Western Kentucky is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they got him for a loss. Loss of two. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. From their own 23-yard line, second down. They hand it off, and they hit him in the backfield. That was a loss of one Going deep, lays it out there. Brought down in the open field. Number 19 on the tackle at the 21 yard line. That, that makes, makes it first, it first and, 10. and 10. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Nice play to set up first and goal. Number one makes the tackle at the eight yard line. That makes it first and goal. Mike four, Mike four. Ready, black and five. Black and five. He 
He's taken down at the 13. That brings him second and goal. From the 13 yard line, second down. Runs right for a nice game. Fires quick, he catches another, and he is drilled at the three yard line. This one should be makeable. Kicks away, and it is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Western Kentucky is up four. He's scrambling. He's brought down in the open field. That's good for a gain of one yard. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Hey, pick your game up. Let's go. Check, check. Box two. Box two. Run hot. scrambling and he's sacked they get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started this young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen it's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that zips it to the tight end good possession there for the defense it did a pretty good job of not letting the offense get much going on that possession it looks like they're going to go after this punt he really got a hold of that one. He's got the corner. And down he goes at the 27. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. So at the end of the half, Western Kentucky leads 14-10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these defenses are opportunistic. They're very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. 
I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Western Kentucky holds a four-point lead. Caught open field, and he tackles him hard at the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Scrambling around, and they got it. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on their own 28. You don't expect tight ends to run away from many defenders, but he looked pretty nimble getting downfield there. Catches it, and that's all. And they get five yards from that completion. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it. They keep moving the defense back. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's on the run. That's a great tackle at the 47. Good coverage by the defense, but they have to be aware of this quarterback's tendency to scramble around and pick up some yards. Western Kentucky is up by four. And he almost has the INT. And they're coming after this punter. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Handoff inside. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 30. Gets out to about the 31. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line. He gets to about the 41-yard line. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of eight, of eight yards. yards. First down. From the 41 yard line. First down. Mike, four. Ready. Ready. Five. 
He's got to throw it in a hurry. That's a backward pass. And the ball bounces out of bounds. From the 44-yard line, second down. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Tackle around the 36 yard line. Number 22 makes the tackle at the 36 yard line. That'll bring up third and six. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made at the 32. Number four on the tackle at the 32 yard line. Mike four, Mike four. Ready. He's at the 20. Brought down right around the 16 yard line. That's good for a game of 16 yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. Three down, three down. Blue run, 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 run. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. No game. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Quickly, and that was almost picked. Number eight, the intended receiver. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 16. Mike, four. Let's go. Red, 18. Red, check, check. Fox, two. Fox, hot. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. Vanderbilt gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Western Kentucky, up a point. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled at about the 35. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Play fake. Runs with it, and he's got room. Excellent open field tackle. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Mike, 36. Let's go. He scrambled. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. That brings up second and 13. That's three down and one to go. The Hilltoppers lead it by one. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. 
And he hauls that one in. And he hits him hard at the 50. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Western Kentucky with a one-point lead. Here's a run. Wait, anytime you run the football on third down, you've got to get a better push at the line of scrimmage. That time, the offensive line did not do their job, and the back didn't have anywhere to go. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He's going to go for the home run. And it's picked off. It's the safety. Oh, no. They really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. you got to be more careful with the football. From midfield, it's first down. They go to the left for a nice game. Field. That's, That's a loss, a loss of, four of four yards. Yard. That, that brings, brings up third, third and ten. ten. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. You remember me? You remember me? Let's go, baby. Watch 36. Got hit and still completed it. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Western Kentucky is up one. Booming kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. their own 22-yard line. Second down. Slings it. Steps out of bounds around the 41-yard line. Everybody was fooled on that one. Hey, that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. From their own 34 yard line. First down. He's taken down around the 49 yard line. Two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Brought down after 
run up the middle. The Commodores will use their first time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Handoff, and he's met in the backfield. I love to see this, Brad. These cornerbacks have the toughest job in college football, and that's to cover some of the fastest players on the field, the receivers. And for a corner willing to come up, get off of his block, and make a play to disrupt the run, that's as good as it gets if you're a defensive coordinator. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. And this one is a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Vanderbilt staff know that they've got a guy in a crucial situation that can maybe make the difference in the ball game, but you can't just rely on him alone. Yeah, you got a real difference maker lined up on the outside. The defense knows that. You know they're going to tilt their defense, the secondary especially, towards him. It's going to open up some opportunities for other wide receivers and maybe even running backs out of the backfield to be able to make plays. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That's a game of 20 on the play. That, that makes, makes it first, it first in 10. ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 40. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After, After review, review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the field, field stands. stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. Just under two to go in the game. Here we go! Red Hot! Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Number 81 was the intention to see him that way. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Ready! 3 19! 3 19! Run! Throws in a hurry. This one is incomplete. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. That brings us fourth and 15. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Four down, four down. Mike, four. Ready. Black with the five. Across the middle, tight end's got it, and he's hit immediately. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's gonna count, and this could be the one right here. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Mike, 36. Here we go. Mike, 68. They try the right side. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Well, Vanderbilt staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.